On this longest day, the sun will stay and make your magic stronger. So give a gift unto the Fae, and it will last a good bit longer. I'll prepare a tray of gifts for the Fae on this biodegradable bamboo egg-shaped plate. The fairies love sweet fruits, so I'm going to give them this half of a mandarin orange, some blueberries, and since it's the full strawberry moon, I wanted to give them strawberries, but the ones I had were kind of getting older, and the fairies kind of have a temper. So you really want to give them the nicest things possible. So I went out and harvested some fresh wild strawberries from the yard. And those are cuter and more fairy-like anyway, so I think they'll really appreciate those. They really love baked goods like bread and sweet things like honey, so I spread some dark Floridian honey on this bread for them. And here's a little blue feather for them. The Fae love bells, so I'm giving them this little bell as a gift. And here's a tiny little snail shell. One of their favorite things is beads, and I have this delightfully sparkly, many-faceted little bead to give them that I think they're really gonna love. And last but not least, a little quartz crystal for them to round it all out, make it extra magical. And I'll just adjust it to make it a really nice little presentation before I bring it to the special spot for them. If you can get to one, it's really good to choose a private little spot in nature to leave your gift for the fairies. And I chose this little tiny creek near my home, and I'm just going to bring their platter and leave it for them and light some incense for them to invoke the spirits of the fairies and get their attention. And then the very last thing that I'm going to do once I've lit the incense is I'm going to play some music for them. And just like that, I'll leave their gifts and the incense burning by the little creek and walk away so that they can come and receive them.